Hello guys, welcome to Parma John 374, and today I'm going to be showing you my full gaming console collection of September 2019. Now, since it's August 30th, almost September, that's why I thought it would be a really good time to, you know, do it. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. So let's start off over here. We have my Xbox One S right here. That's my Minecraft. It's Minecraft edition. It's a one terabyte, and I got this for Christmas of 2018, I think. No, 2017. It's February 2018 when I unbox it. Um, but this is what it looks like. You can see on the side, and then there's redstone over here, as you can see. Let's turn that on. Gotta, there it goes. So, second console I have is a Xbox 360 Slim. So, this one right here is not plugged in. Don't, don't have a cord for it, but it works just fine. Um, as you can see, it says Xbox 360. Not too sure how many gigabytes it has, but I can easily get a hard drive for it. Now, the third console I have is my Nintendo Switch. So there's my Nintendo Switch right there. I got a couple games up there. Put that back in here. There we go. So my fourth console I'm gonna show you is my my um my ugh, my Super Nintendo. So um I got this console pretty recently. This is actually not a uh this was my Christmas present for 2018. This right here wasn't really, cr I don't know what it was. I just know that I've saved up for it and I got it. So, turn that on. As you can see, the red light right there. Actually, the, it's two SNESs together because it's the old model, but it has the new top to make it look nice. Because the, you know, the, I got this from a broken SNES and I replaced it on top of the yellowed a working one. And then, boom, I got two. So, it's pretty cool. Here's the reset button, the eject button. And this is where you put your cartridge. So, I, this is actually a very awesome system. I'm so happy I have it. It's very interesting looking. Um, the fourth console I'm going to show you is the old 80s Nintendo Entertainment System. Now, this was released, I think, 1984, 5, or 6. I can't remember. I just know that this console is from the 80s. And it is a very beloved console that a lot of Nintendo fans and a lot of people that like gaming would probably recognize. So as you can see, it says Nintendo Entertainment System. Found this at, actually me and my mom, we found this at Goodwill in Hampton for about 20, I think $30. So you can see, open that up. You put the cartridge in there and then you click it like that. And then here's the power button, as you can see, turn it on. It flashes, you know, you have to put something in. And then the reset. And then, as you can see, there's two controller ports right here, as there is on the SNES. And then I got my little co my little uh, coin right here I got from a... I forgot where I got it from. I think it was an arcade. Um, so, the, um, the sixth console, and the seventh console I want to show you, is my Sega Genesis Model 2. Now, I don't have the Model 1 or the Model 3 yet, but I do have the 32X. The 32X is a rare console. That goes on top of the Sega Genesis that um, is very is very old. It's old. It's not really you know known. A lot of people don't really know about it. Um, but it does play 32-bit games. That's not the 16-bit Sega Genesis games. But as you can see, you turn this on right here. Three lights. But one of the little plastic pieces is missing. But they all it all works. And then we got the reset button, which probably doesn't it doesn't really work very often. But it's Sega Genesis. It works just fine. Besides that, we got two ports right there. Um, and here's 32x. The 32x just snaps on. You got this port, you know, I mean, this little holder thing that like kind of makes it more stable together. Um, I got my little mushroom right here. There's actually candy in here. It's really cool. So, next console I'm going to show you is the Sega Dreamcast. The Sega Dreamcast is a very awesome console. It competed against the Xbox and the PlayStation 2 and the GameCube. Um, I, I, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Um, this was released in 1998, 1999, I think. Um, this console is, you know, it's it's more rare than, like, the GameCube and the, the uh, what? The, you know, the Xbox and the PlayStation 2, which I'm getting there. But, you know, it, it didn't really succeed as well as those, but it's still a really awesome console, and a lot of people still enjoy it. There's the Red Swirls, however, the, I think it's the European versions, or the, you know, overseas versions have the blue, because... The red would be like a copy mark to like a, uh, it was a brand, a, d a different brand. I don't know what it was. I think it was a mop or something like that. It was definitely not a mop. I just don't know what it was. So don't take my word on whatever I just said. But turn that on. You can hear it. And yes, it's compatible with Microsoft Windows CE. So there's like a keyboard and stuff. This actually has four ports right here. As you can see. And let me just uh, press this button so you can see the inside right here. Which is where you put your DVD game right there. Close it like that. And it makes like, ah, ah, you know, it makes noises like that. But here, back there. So let me just turn this off. So yeah, that's my uh, Sega Dreamcast. I really, I'm going to show you the games for it too. I only have a couple or a few, but you know. Next console I'm going to show you is my Nintendo G GameCube. This is a platinum, you know, silver model. Um, well, I meant to say color. It's, the color is uh, platinum. Um, this was released in, I think it was 2001, around that time. Um, you know, going against this, the Xbox, original Xbox, and the PlayStation 2. Um, you know, this is actually a really awesome console because there's many, many games that are like Mario, you know, that are kind of rare or fine, but they are really awesome. Um, but I'm going to just turn it on. Can you hear it? I don't know if you can hear that, but that's the um, GameCube. Open it up. It opens kind of fast. There's a little disc that goes in there. Not a big one, but a little one. Um, press this to pop it up. Um, this is the reset button. So, let me just close that. Turn it off. Here's a, the memory card for it right here. This is a Japanese one. Really awesome. So, um, the next console I'm going to show you is the Nintendo Wii. Who does not know the win Nintendo Wii? It's one of the best-selling consoles ever. Um, this console is really awesome. Uh, it's made by Nintendo right after the GameCube in 2006. Um, this console is awesome. There's so many games, I can't even count how many. It's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, this is the Nintendo Wii. I'm going to turn it on for you guys. You see it has blue light. There's actually three models, as there's two models of the, there's a, actually there's a dog bone, you know, uh, NES that that's like smaller, it's a top loading, that has a dog bone looking controller, it looks like the SNES controller, um, so yeah, that's just something if you didn't know that, but the Wii has three models, it has the, uh, I forgot what it was, but I know it was user one, 101, and then I think it was either 102 or 201, I think it was 201. But the, the second model was horizontal, and the third model was a Wii Mini. It was red, and then it had like a black top. That was like a, you know, it's like a, like it was like one of these spinny. You know, it was not like a, like an insert. So uh, as you can see, I got the Wii on. I was playing, I was having a Super Mario Galaxy on, but it turned off. Um, the music stopped. You know, it stopped playing. So the next console I'm gonna show you is the Wii U. There is. If there's two different color variations, there's the white standard and the black deluxe. However, this console wasn't really continued that long. A lot of people didn't like it. The that was an add-on to the Wii. And everybody got upset, kind of. And I was like, oh, we don't want a Wii U. So, you know, people didn't really like it. However, this console is awesome. I'm going to show you the gamepad in a minute. But this console is really awesome. Uh, I'm going to turn that on for you. This console is actually... It's not, it's pretty rare, you know, on Amazon it's really expensive, or some of them are. Um, it's not really that rare, but it's more rare than, like, the Wii and stuff. But a lot of people are trying to look for this, because, you know, it could be, it's now kind of, it's the kind of, 
it's kind of considered as like a collector's thing instead of like an actual gameplay because the switch replaced the wii u this is came out in 2012 as you can hear the gamecube the, i mean not the gamecube the gamepad in the background sorry all right so as you can see it's on its stand these things come off they're not attached you just like set it, the console on these two so the next console i'm going to show you is the playstation 2 but not just the ordinary playstation 2 this is the playstation 2 slim this console was released in 2000, I think. Um, it was the, the but this was I think this was 2004 because it was a, a slim, not a reg a, a regular. Um, but the PlayStation 2 um, Slim was a um, competitor against the GameCube, the Dreamcast, and then the original Xbox down there. Um, and to be exact. Um, it's actually one of the best-selling consoles ever, if it's not the best-selling. I'm pretty sure it is the best-selling. But this console is extremely popular. It has very iconic games. Everybody everybody should love it. If they don't love it, I don't even know anymore. But yeah, the PS2 Slim is a really awesome console. I mean, unless you're an Xbox, like, super fan. Um, then the next console I gotta show you is the PlayStation Original. This, there's no, It doesn't say original, just the PlayStation. People like to call it the PSX. However, there was a PSX model that was you know, discontinued, I think it was in Japan or something like that, but th that's very, very rare. So here's the PlayStation right here, turn it on. That's what the noise it makes, open it up, put the disc in. And by the way, I forgot to show you, open this up like that. I'm gonna just close that back up. The, 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 it's kind of fidgety with the cord, you have to be careful or I'll just turn off. So that's that. So yeah, this is the PlayStation. There's actually there's has, there's um, another model. There's two models of the PlayStation I think that are like the big you know the most like original because the other ones might be like special editions or whatever. Um, but the two the two big models, not like not including the number models, but just like the big big revisions. There's this one, and then there's this one up here. This is the next console I'm gonna show you. This is. Um, the PlayStation 1 Slim, also known as the PS1. Um, so you just open it up, you do the same thing. However, this mod, this one I have right here is broken, but I need to fix it. So, um, the power cord is the same as with the PS2 Slim, surprisingly. So, yeah, two ports, two memory card ports as it's the same right here with the PS2 Slim and the PS1 original right there. Um, but the, yeah, the PS1 Slim is awesome. It, it had its own, you know, model of a controller, too. So the next consoles I'm going to show you are these four in here. We have to, I'm going to go a little faster. This is the PS3 Slim right here. You know, everybody love. I'm, I'm not going to say that, but a lot of people like PS3. Um, this was released in 2006, November 2006, to go against the Xbox 360 and the Wii. And it was a really, really big success. Um, it's actually a really awesome console. However, when they first released, it wasn't really a big success because they kind of overpriced it. But this is not the original model. This is just a slim version. Then there's a super slim, which I do not have. So the next console, I'm, oh, I'm going to turn it off. For, I'm going to turn it on first. Makes a beep. Here it's starting up. It's, like, it's very silent until you play a game for a long time. Then there's nothing. Yeah, the wait. Then there's nothing silent about it once you play game for hours at a time. Okay, so there it goes. It's turning off now. It's pretty old. It's from 2008 or 9 because it's the slim model. So the next console I'm going to show you is the N64. This is a green N64. Um, I think it was a Donkey Kong one. Uh, N64 was amazing. It actually came right after the Super Nintendo and before the GameCube. Um, I love Mario 64. Um, I like uh, Mario Kart 64. I also like, um, you know, Bomberman. Bomberman Hero. Super Bomberman Hero. I love Bomberman Hero. Bomberman Hero is great. So if you turn this on, there's a light right here. It's red. Ooh, that was loud. There's a red light right here. This is a translucent. Reset button works. Then there's the cartridge port right there. And then this is the expansion right there so let me turn that off really awesome console 
Um, I'm happy I have the green one. So, next console I'm going to show you is the PlayStation 2. Original. This is the very first one, you know, released. Um, now, keep in mind, there's many models of the PlayStation 2 and the PlayStation 2 Slim that, that are very, very slight, slight revisions. Um, and then there's, like, you know, special editions, and then there's the Japanese PS2s. So, yeah, that's very interesting, um, if you guys didn't know. It's really interesting to know that. So that's what it sounds like when you turn it on. Here's the eye toy right here. That is to play games, you know, that uses motion for the camera. This one has a, a you know, a slide out, slide in type of, you know, tray. That one over there does not. It actually has an open, you have to open it, oops, sorry. You have to open it from the top. So the next console I'm going to show you, by the way, I have the two original memory cards right here. The next console I'm going to show you is the original Xbox. So this one is actually pretty loud. It was going against this. However, this was more popular than this, but this was still a success. And the GameCube was third in place, and the Dreamcast was in fourth. Those were all going against each other. So let me just turn this on right quick. As you see, it makes a lot of noise. This one is very similar to this. However, they're on the opposite sides. Um, so let me turn this on. There we go. Uh, this is actually a really awesome console. I love the style of it. It's very futuristic. It reminds you of like Power Raid or something like that. I don't know why. Just that type of thing. You know, the Doritos and all that stuff. And it's kind of what it reminds me of. You know, that type of era with the Surge and stuff. But, um... Yeah, that's the original Xbox. And then there's the little DVD thing, which I have the remote for. You can play movies on it and stuff like that. Um, as you can see, there's a big X right there. Xbox logo. It's very, very obvious, especially on the controller. So let me turn this off. So now I'm going to show you this, everything else that's in my room. And then I'm going to move on to the other consoles in the living room. And I actually do have a couple more I want to show you consoles-wise in my room. All right, so the games. Those are all my Wii games right there. Scan it out. You know, I'll have a lot of Wii Fits. You know, a lot of Wii titled games right there. Now, here are my Wii U games. Don't have many of those, but they do exist. Here are the Wii U games. And then I have these GameCube games plus Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Um, so, yeah, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door I have at my cousin's house. And um, I also have a Super Mario Brothers Wii at my cousin's house. He has another Wii, too. At my cousin's house, let me just, like, stop here and, and let tell you all the consoles at my cousin's house. He has an Xbox One S, but it's a limited gray, not a, a Minecraft limited. That's a 500 gigabyte. And then he has another, another Nintendo Switch, plus the Splatoon Joy-Con. So he has the original Joy-Cons and then the Splatoon. He does not have the gray ones, though. We don't have gray yet. But, the, yes, he has that. Then he has an Xbox 360 Slim, pretty much identical to this one right here. Might be, you know, very slight revisions, but I'm pretty sure it's the same thing. Um, and then he has a, a Nintendo Game Boy with a whole lot of stuff. That's what we have. We have a Nintendo Game Boy. Um, that was originally my aunt. So that's a very interesting um, thing to, you know, know about. Um, so here are all my PlayStation 2 games. You scan that out. I got a Call of Duty right there. You know, NASCAR Thunders, two of those right there. And then I got Gran Turismo 4 and 3. Um, Ghost Recon, you know, Need for Speed Hopper Suit 2, and Need for Speed Underground, where's that at? There it is. Alright, so, here are my 360 games, don't have many of them, however, um, my cousin has way more at his house, well, it's not really, yeah, he does, he has a lot of Xbox 360 games at his house, so, those are my Xbox 360 games. Um, don't mind the green one down there, it's just a case. It holds Disney's up, which is probably in there. And then I have my original Xbox games. I don't have many. However, they are right here. Test drive is very fidgety. It only works on occasions. Um, so, yeah. That is th that. Then my PS3 games over here. So, um... Yeah, that's all my games over here. These are actually really cool stands because, you know, they come out like that. And some if they weren't as tight as the Xbox games, they will come out like that. Really cool. 
Then I got three GameCube games up here. I totally forgot about these. I have Harry Potter, The Goblet of Fire, um, 007 Nightfire, and then I have 2K6 Baseball. Don't even, I don't care. <laughs> I don't give a crap about that game. But, you know, no offense to the baseball fans, but baseball is a very interesting game, so, yeah. Here are my Xbox One games. I know you're probably like, what the heck? But I have a lot of digital ones, and I also have Need for Speed, which is uh, right here. And then I have Battleborn, which I don't even know what happened to it. It's somewhere in my room. But here's my clock right there, ticking away, and then, you know, I'm Pile of Pie. I'm not a hoarder, I promise. I just have stuff that I think is cool. There's my Minecraft poster. Uh, where? Here's my setup with my TV right here. This is my Sony Bravia. It's from 2008 or something like that. Very old, 2010, 11. Uh, this is um, purchased off Craigslist. This is a really cool TV that's been lasting for a long time. However, this is kind of fidgety. Then we got two AV switches over here. Then we got an HDMI switch in the back. We got the um, the Wii sensor bar and the Wii U sensor bar. And um, also, here's my Xbox 360 Connect right there. It's really cool. Oh, let me see. Oh, yeah, right here I got my Minecraft uh, redstone lamp. I got my awesome shelf that holds all this stuff. My diamond sword. My little jigs... Oh, no, no. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? I forgot what it's called. Ah! What is the what is the metal... Th Ugh, I forgot what it is, but I have to ask my mom. I totally forgot what it was. Um, But this is, you know, my battery charger, so I won't have to keep on buying double A's. Just put these in there. Put in my Xbox controller. Kaboom! So, um, I, ha I have one Xbox con one controller at my house, however, there's three at my cousin's house. Uh, this is the one I play all my Minecraft minigames on right there. My Creeper controller, I got three PS3 controllers, however, they need to be replaced, some of them, anyways. Especially the DualShock 3, because I can't seem to con get it connected to my PS3 Slim. So, there's my, uh, keyboard right here for my, it's a light, light up keyboard. My, one of my 360 controllers, my other one is in the living room. I'm going to go, go there in a minute. There's my PS3 fat right there. This is a really, really old thing it's from 2006. My friends, um, they gave me this, um, out of kindness because they didn't want it, but it is broken and I'm probably going to get it fixed, but it's a lot of money to get it fixed. Um, the serial number back here is like one, two, three something. So it's extremely, it's like one, two, three, eight or something like that. It's just really old. You know, it's older than a lot of, a lot of people's PS3s fast. Packers compatible, 60 gigabyte, um, CCH A01. That's what that is. It's really old. Uh, we got a, uh, we got a Xbox remote. That's what I was telling you about. I got my, my rainbow thing. Turn that off. If I can if I can turn it off, maybe. Um, then I got my money. It's not that much. I, I don't have much money at the moment. Got one of my it's my chiming you know electronic clock right there, uh, on a D or a C battery. Um, then I got my VMU for my Dreamcast controller. Now down here I got my um, Wii controllers, my Wii nunchuck, my two in, in, uh, Nintendo Switch holders. And by the way, there is uh, you know a, a nunchuck and a controller at my cousin's house. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff at my cousin's house, too. If you watch some of his video, he might show you some of it. You know, his intro has some of it in there, too. Um, then we got uh, my PlayStation 1 games. We got uh, Gran Turismo. We have uh, uh, NASCAR Rumble, Turbo Prop Racing, Test Drive Off-Road, Sim Theme Park. We got a Sega Genesis case. This is not really a... What a second... Yeah, this isn't really a, uh, this is nothing, it's just a case. Um, I don't have many cases, so, not for, not for Sega Genesis, but my Sega Genesis games are right here. Actually, a game came in this, it was an NBA Jam, don't know why they did that, but they did. So, this, so those are, those are some of my games right there. Sonic Spinball, then I got Winter Challenge. Don't ask what that is. It's just a game. We got clock over here, going off nine o'clock. So we got Star Wars for 32x. You know, other games. Ugh, can you see that? That is a another 32x game. That and there's um, this is the uh, biking game. I forgot what it's called. Um, so let me put this back over here. I have actually quite a few N64 and SNES games. 
Mm, yeah, not never mind about the SNES. The NES games, I have tons of games. It might not look like it, but I have 151 con in one uh, green cartridge right there. News of uh, the Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt, 720 degrees. I don't know what that is. It's the Destination Earth Star. It's a good game. Then we got Barman Hero, Lamborghini game. Oh, I got Cruising USA. I have a lot of games back here. Then got Super Mario World at the top. Those are the miscellaneous games right there. If any of those games are good, just let me know. But I don't care about them really. But I still have them. We got clock over there going off. San Francisco. Now I'm gonna show you the stuff over here at my desk. So now we have Super Mario right here. Turns on. We have my DSi. This is one of my few portable consoles because I just started collecting them. Let's take a look at this on my Minecraft bed sheet. So turn this on. Oh, I forgot to show you <clears throat> my Bible right there. And then I got Nintendo uh, Mario Kart DS right there. That's the only game I have for the DSi at the moment, but it works just fine. Really awesome. So, um, here is my um, DSi. Really awesome console. Black, not in the best condition, however, it's a great piece of equipment. And there's no stylus, but my phone stylus, that's my old phone. My phone stylus works perfect on this console. And then there's my dual charger I got from GameStop, just so I won't, you know, I won't have to get more chargers. Unless I find some, you know, I have a console that I need a charger for. Uh, a couple PS4 games, or a few. And then I have a whole bunch of PS4 and PS3 digital games, too. Then that's my one of my only physical Nintendo Switch games. However, my 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 cousin has tons of Nintendo uh, physical Nintendo Switch games, including uh, Mario Kart 8. Mario, I mean, he has um yeah Mario Kart 8, uh, Super Smash Bros Ultimate, and he has Mario Maker 2. Um, two. He has uh, a lot of them. He has a lot of them. Um, well, we do because it's ours. So here's my. My uh, plasma ball. I know this is kind of miscellaneous, but there's that. It's off right now. Then I got my Wii U gamepad right here with my NES wallet. Don't don't ask what those things are because I don't really know. They're just coaster things. Put on your nose. I also have a 3DS XL that's red, but it's at my stepdad's house. He's going to come back so I can have it. So that's going to be a video too. I'm going to do a review on that. So I have a PS4 right here. You know, I have a lot of, you know, controllers. I got a uh, Logitech uh, USB. Then we got another um, Xbox 360 controller. It's kind of, you know, vacant over here because I don't have much stuff over here. But um, I do have another TV over there. So, because um, just, you know, for Fortnite, two PS4s. Because my stepdad has another PS4, Dr. Killface um, 88. He has another PS4 that's going to be over here, so that's going to be part of the Gaming Cons collection. It's the exact same PS4, but it has a it's older because it has a black shiny over here. Then there's my original 360 right here. Oh, it's off. i got to plug it back in, but that's my original 360. Uh, it's an awesome console. It's just super, super loud. Um, there's my PS4 right there. Um... Oh, it's on my cord. I gotta fix that. But, yeah, that's pretty much every single console that I own. I don't think I'm forgetting any. I definitely don't think I'm forgetting anything. anything. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like subscribe for more. If I'm forgetting anything, I'm probably gonna put it at the end of this video. And, yes, of course, I forgot something. These are broken games. Don't get mesmerized by the ugliness. Okay, so, these are my controllers. So, I'm gonna open these up right here. And yeah, take a good, you know, whiff of all these controllers right here. What is this? Oh, this is a PS1 controller. I have so many controllers, I'm not going to go through it, but these are all of my controllers. Many PS2 controllers. I have almost every single PS1 controller ever made except for one model. So that's that. This is 1080, I mean the 1180 rare model right there. Concave. Then I got my N64 controllers, there's that one, and then there's that one over there. Then I got, you know, my two Dreamcast controllers, there's one right there. And then I got my Wii steering wheel, uh, my, what is this? What the? Oh, that's my Xbox One, okay. 
That's my my cord Xbox corded Xbox One controller. My PS2 controller, another PS2 controller. I have two. Then there's one of my 1080s. I oh I have two models I'm not getting because I don't have a 1010. However, I do have two 1080s. Here goes another 1080 right here. Um, two NES controllers, like three Sega Genesis controllers. I'm packed with controllers. More that you probably haven't seen in here. Both models are the Xbox controllers. I have a lot of controllers, and plus a whole bunch of them at uh, my cousin's house. He has like two 360 controllers. So, um, yeah. Now, that's I think that's everything. I'm, I might be missing something, but I'm probably not. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Oh.